latest episode of American Greed Biggest Cons. New developments in our most shocking cases of greed. Tonight, investment manager John Bravada. Philosophy says if we don't make money, you don't make money. Bravada promises to keep your nest egg safe with what he claims is the real estate investment opportunity of a lifetime. What I'm showing you today is that in 14 years, we've not had a client lose a dollar. That's his pitch for his company, BBC Equities, in persuasive infomercials like this. At BBC Equities, we secure your principal dollars. That is unheard of in the marketplace today. But the truth is, Bravado feathers his own nest with the finest things in life by swindling $50 million out of his middle-class investors. This money that we put in there was our entire savings. There's nothing to fall back on. Even after Bravado's convicted of fraud, his story doesn't end there. Now, federal authorities are accusing this convict of cooking up a new investment scam with his son, Antonio, who wrote the book about being the wealth creator. John was advising him from prison every step along the way. According to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, father and son are picking up right where their last scheme left off. Anytime there's a scam like this, people have to hang on for dear life. For convicted con man John Bravada, who once claimed he had a real estate empire, a prison cell is the only real estate that he occupies these days. The 52-year-old inmate is serving 20 years behind bars for wire fraud at the Federal Correctional Institution in Terre Haute, Indiana. Bravada aggressively lured more than 400 Detroit area investors, many of them retirees, into a Ponzi scheme from 2006 to 2009 at seminars like this one for BBC Equities. Five minutes, I can sit and talk with everybody. I can tell you if you have money or if you'll ever have money. John Bravado would put on a very expensive suit, pull up in a Ferrari, and then do a lunch or a dinner seminar and talk to seniors about investing. Real wealth is done in land and property. You can't go to zero. I can't have... Bravada purported to sell his investors shares of commercial real estate worth up to $170 million that generate consistent returns. We pay an 8%, we pay it quarterly. 10% of all profits at a year, year end going to a dividend pool or divided to the investors. Now, the Securities Exchange Commission claimed that he would buy properties, but not necessarily the properties that he was saying that he had, and that what he would do is take the money as it came in and spend it on himself. John Bravado wasn't the only one convicted in the scheme. His son, Antonio, who served as the face of the Bravado Financial Group and promotional brochures, is sentenced to five years for conspiracy to commit wire fraud. John was the mastermind of that fraud. Antonio was a salesman for John. We can see from the, from the videos we have of them that they are both charismatic people who are able to make a good pitch to investors. Like his father, Antonio used free lunch seminars to reel in investors and schmooze them with a well-rehearsed speech. Point is, I was given a belief structure. I was told how to act and what to do from my parents. In May 2018, Antonio Bravada is released from prison and allowed to serve the final months of his sentence in home confinement in Ferndale, Michigan. But according to a U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission civil complaint, Antonio wastes no time getting a scam nearly identical to his father's off the ground. SEC attorney Ben Hanauer says that the government begins investigating Antonio's new company called Primo World Ventures early on, thanks to a timely lead. Antonio basically copied the BBC Equities prospectus to make the Primo prospectus. With both BBC and with Primo, Antonio told investors that their money was going to be spent on real estate and that the investors would receive returns based on the profits. This time, the SEC alleges Antonio's in the driver's seat while his father coaches him from prison. 
John was able to communicate with Antonio via email and telephone and give him advice about how to go about offering Primo securities to investors and how to hide uh, Antonio's role in the company. Antonio, who dubs himself the wealth creator in a book he published years ago, knows exactly which group of investors he wants to exploit, the SEC contends. People who are at or near retirement age will be the creators of his wealth, investigators claim. Those are the people that Antonio was targeting, and that's what really makes his conduct uh, so much more appalling. His father came up with a similar plan to steal tens of millions of dollars a decade earlier. So just understand there's a manipulation in a game out there that you must be aware of if you're really going to invest and try to make money in this world. Before he manipulated investors, John Bravada spent his 20s serving as a police officer in his hometown of Kalamazoo, Michigan. But his modest cop salary left him wanting more. While he was driving around, he would observe some of the nicer communities, nicer homes that he would patrol. And that was the type of lifestyle that he wanted to have for himself and his family. Bravada gets his shot at Riches when he hands in his badge and begins selling life insurance, first for John Hancock and later at New York Life. Eventually, he moves to Brighton, Michigan, a small town about 40 miles northwest of Detroit. It's here in 2003 that John opens the Bravada Financial Group, running it out of this unassuming building on a busy commercial strip. Three years later, he launches BBC Equities, a real estate investment fund. Bravada partners with Richard R.J. Trabalsi, who we had previously hired at New York Life. To R.J., Mr. Bravada was a father figure, and he was a young, impressionable um, individual who looked up to John Bravada. John pulled all the strings at BBC. He was the figure that was larger than life. He projected himself as larger than life, and I think R.J. bought into that. From the very start, Bravada is out in front, making the right impression the moment he walks in the door. When you first look at John Bravada, John comes across as very polished. Salt and pepper, gray hair, mustache, custom suit, cufflinks, monogrammed um, shirts. He's a huge guy. He stands out in a crowd. I mean, he steals all the oxygen in a room. Driving a $90,000 Ferrari, Bravada knows the importance of projecting wealth. John Bravada's saying was that this is the only industry where people will drive up in their Mercedes or their BMWs and hand over all their money to their financial advisor who rents an apartment and drives a Yugo. The point that he was making was that that's crazy and you should invest with someone like me because that would guarantee that their investment would be as successful as, as his was. So what's the secret of his success? Not long after starting BBC Equities, Ravada is at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, giving a presentation to a few dozen people. At first, it's not even obvious that Ravada is actually selling anything. A John Bravada sales pitch would last almost exactly an hour. He never mentioned BBC Equities for the first 50 minutes. What he did for the first 50 minutes was instill terror in the audience about the dangers of investing. For most people out in this room, you sat and watched your wealth disappear. And you did it because your financial planners, the media, said to do what? Stay still. By the end of that 50 minutes, you were terrified and you didn't know what to do with your money. The last 10 minutes, basically it was John Bravada saying, I alone can help you. I gotta tell you that, and this is a bold statement, but we'll back it up. Not one of our clients ever lost a dollar. The way Bravada can help is by offering investors a piece of his so-called real estate empire. Flipping through slides, Bravada shows off properties where tenants are paying rent and generating big bucks for his investors. He made it sound like his company had already acquired a huge real estate portfolio that was already cash flowing. Then he couldn't 
get to the bank fast enough because they were producing so much cash. In this pitch, recorded later, Bravada hits upon a point he hammers home time and time again. BBC Equities is not only lucrative, it's also safe. Number one rule, my money and principal of my dollars must be guaranteed.